time to check the rally button plate again from Pokorni Engineering and reading the entire comment section from the GTB model I'm happy to see so many DIY guys building themselves all the different Pokorni projects and enjoy the process. I know this company can be addictive for the DIY community, however, this is the third ready-to-go product after the LMDH and the GTB which is intended for those who don't have the skills and the time. So, let me show you this in rally style motif which is the idea of Pokorni team anyway, but that doesn't mean it can be used in cut wheel for GT cars for example. It is button plate, which means the rim style will be our personal choice. And again, the disclaimer, those are provided from the company for test and review and as I've said before, the GTB was DIY version, but the rally is the ready one with price of 350 euro before VAT and will be exactly what you will get if you order one. If you want to build it yourself, you can make it of course cheaper depending on the parts you wanna use. Again, this one for 350 euro is the flagship with aluminum case, aluminum button shroud, carbon front plate, aluminum knobs for the rotaries, high quality stickers and in general the price is very competitive for what we have on the market. The buttons are the same as in the GT bin which I used different stickers and for those who asked for the dome stickers the response from Pokorni Engineering was clear in which he said he is looking for new producer to fit the exact size. That being said the original stickers are great quality and looks good for sure. Button suction is short travel, snappy feel, more like cube controls but a bit weaker, doesn't have initial spring load and is more like instant click. It is still enough to feel every input through my gloves but I will personally want to have just a bit more resistance. Each of those buttons have 4 LEDs behind which we can control individually and add whatever effects we wish to SIM hub that apply to the back windows of the rotary encoders which are on the medium stiffness as well with aluminum knobs and have also push action. There are also two 7-way switches which feels the same as every other 7-way buttons I have tested here with nice grippy knobs which I like a lot. So, funky switches are top, the case can't get any stronger, the buttons and rotaries are more on the medium side but I compare them to some which cost 20 to 22 euro each which will change totally the price. I would say good enough to get the job done. So, my general use for this model is Rally and I pair it with 300mm QSP which is my favorite size for sim use with reasonable price. Very comfortable wheel for that driving style with the only problem of some black debris in the first month of use. I haven't added shifters as I go sequential with those cars but it's possible to add if you need for 109 plus 20 euro for plate and those feels great for sure. That's optional and I like that decision from Pokorni as for my use will be absolutely wasted money. 350 before VAT plus 95 for rim I choose is just above 500 euro after 20% taxes which is not bad contender on the current market. I think the real competition for rally and drifting experiences is the same did for 499 euro before VAT again here in Europe but with two shifters included. Same did is also 320 mm diameter and the case doesn't fit in that QSP. If size is not important for you, those two options are excellent as both have SIM hub support for all effects, two funky switches on both, two rotaries for the SIM DIT and three for the Pokorni, but more buttons on that one. Both in aluminum cases and carbon front plates in very similar quality and the full version on this one with the shifters and the QSP I use here will be around 70 euro more expensive but if you don't need shifters will be 50 euro cheaper and will give you the freedom of 
different steering wheel choices. I really think between those two, the main selling point for you must be the aesthetics and your own personal taste. They are both very good for the price at the moment and the slight cost difference can beat your personal taste. Once again, very cool work from Pokorni Engineering and I'm super happy to see many DIY enthusiasts supporting his work as I'm even more happy to see them make ready to use projects for people who are not into that rabbit hole. GTB for the price was one of my favorite as it was the LMDH and now the rally project complete the different experiences. I will definitely love to see more and can't wait for the next epic work from the guys there. Having experience with so many gear, I really believe Pokorni give us great balance between price and quality. That being said, let's enjoy the rest of the drive and don't forget that sim racing can be frustrating, chasing lap times, but it can be tons of fun as well. It has always been about our personal perspective and if you have hard times for whatever reason, just pick a fun car and enjoy the ride.